natural disasters, untimely rains and other such problems. In Maharashtra, it rains from June to September. We call this time the rainy season. This is the time when we know it is going to rain and we are ready for it. When it rains normally in the rainy season, we have no problem. The problem is when it rains much after the rainy season is over. If that is a little bit, it is okay. But if it rains too much, then the crops that are about to be cut get damaged. If grain is laid out to dry, that gets all wet. If fruit trees like mangoes have flowers, they all fall off. All this really is trouble for the farmers. If their crops get damaged, what will they grow and sell? And if they cannot grow the crops properly, what do we get to eat? Hailstorms Another problem with untimely rain is that many times hail falls along with the rain too. That is called a hailstorm. Hail is very different from snow. Snow is soft and fluffy. Hail is a hard ball of ice. Sometimes hailstones are as large as tennis balls or even bigger. Now imagine something like this falling hard out of the sky. Hailstones can hurt people and animals and break roofs of houses. They damage crops and fruit trees too. And all this happens without warning. There is really not much that we can do when there is a hailstorm. So, there is a lot of damage that happens because of untimely rains. Flood You know that water flows through a river. A river has a path that it follows and people live in areas around it. Sometimes it rains a lot and the water in the river increases. Sometimes it increases so much that it comes out of the river and flows all over the land around. This is called a flood. You can see the normal path of the river and how much water has come out of the river in this photo. Sometimes, when there is a lot of rain, water collects in different places and starts flowing. That is a flood too. It does not always have to be a river that overflows. In a flood, Water flows where it normally doesn't. That creates a lot of problems. 
there may be houses, farms or factories in the area where the water gets flooded. The flood can damage the houses, farms and factories. People have to find places to take shelter. Sometimes water enters the houses too and there is no place for the people to go. If they cannot get out of town when it is flooding, they are stuck there. It is difficult to get even food and water. Strong winds or storms can make big waves in the sea. The sea water then comes onto the shore. This causes flooding in places that are close to the sea too. What should you do if you get stuck in a flood? You should be prepared. Pack a bag with important items and medicines in case you have to run away from home. If you are asked to leave your home, do it quickly. Turn off all electric switches. When you are in a flood, do not walk through moving water. Moving water can make you fall. If you have to walk in water, walk where the water is not moving. The force of water in a flood is very strong. It can drag you away. Use a stick to check the ground as you walk. You should not drive into flooded areas. If flood water starts rising around your car, get out of your car and move to higher ground. If you are standing in water or in a wet place, do not touch any wires or anything that works on electricity. Don't return home till authorities tell you that it is safe to go home. You should clean and disinfect everything that got wet in the flood. You should not drink water till you know it is safe and germ-free.